da 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 New York, New York. It's a cathedral of porn. I guess it would be nice. I believe you will become born again while you're here. If you were the only one, he would have sent Jesus to die on the cross for you. And all you have to do to have Jesus in your life and to become his child is to confess with your mouth. In fact, if you want to do it, you can do it right now and become born again. I'm not trying to rush you, but this is the way it works. Do you? You know, I just got in here. I think I've got to hold off. <laughs> okay. I think I've got to hold off for now. Here's the question. Are you 100% sure if Jesus were to come tonight that you're ready to... And then, Would you the turn moment to of truth. On your left and then on your Was right I ready to accept moment? Jesus? Ask. Say it out loud. Repeat it after me. Dear Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. I love you today. I love you today. I believe that you love me. I believe that you love me. And that you died on the cross. And that you died on the cross. And you shed your blood for me. And you shed your blood for me. Come into my heart right now. Come into my heart right now. Wash away my sins. Even though I didn't believe, I wanted to please Anne Lee so much that a few words spilled out. Jesus for saving me. Scott. Now there's nothing in here. We've just got to check. Right. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Uh, so I've, Liz you're is basically an alien. just concentrating your energies. You sight them through the top sight there. Um, would be the head of the uh, the uh, entity. It takes a superior intellect. So the idea is you have to focus the energy. Okay, I'm thinking. I'm here. imagining that I've got the red sight on Liz's head. Now this would I'm be shooting picturing... at almost. You'd be shooting at like a ghost-like image. Now, you wouldn't shoot a ghost with a real gun. You'd shoot a ghost with a ghost gun. And that's what this, which you could kind of equate this to. So I'm thinking very, Horror very relief. hard. I'm thinking very, very hard of a laser beam just sort of blowing up Liz's head. Is that is that right? That's about it. Liz, how, how does it feel? I don't feel anything. No, nothing <coughs> at all? No, those are generally only effective in, in alien presence. Really? We arranged that in the event of an attack, I would do the shooting. Thor would do the hacking. About my character. Yes. Yeah, yes. What, what can you tell me about the Ranger? Okay, well, the Ranger basically is the authority figure. Is the Ranger gay? I, I don't think a Ranger is necessarily gay. I think a ranger is asexual. Right, he would be asexual. Uh, yeah, I we think know. of them being sexy and like police officers, but most of the time they're not, are they? No. Good evening, fellas. I'm just out warning everybody. Good evening, fellas. I'm just warning. Go, go. Oh. Good evening, fellas. I am. Good evening, fellas. I'm just warning everybody. Yeah, do you, do you think you'd go a bit slower? Action. Good evening, ranger. Good evening. Come on in. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm just out telling everyone to be on the lookout for an escapee from Jordan Valley Prison. Is he as cute as his picture? Officer, we'll keep our eyes open for anybody that looks suspicious. You can keep that composite, and if you need to, call me. Steve, I'm ready. You What's don't that? have any magazines or anything, do you? We've got a bit of a wood problem. All right, don't worry about it. Put your arms like this. OK, tell just me. tell him how, how you want me to pose. Just pose like this, hands together, smile. Very nice. Six sexy things. Don't move like that because I'll get the wrong idea. Smile. Harder. 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 Ow. My teeth. Sometimes you get hit in the car is a lot harder than that. Come on. Oh, I'm not kidding. <laughs> first hit, I knew it was going to be misery. Nothing had prepared me for this. While Stevie zipped up and down, scoring hits and dazzling the crowd, I concentrated on being smashed from all sides. Every time I thought I was on the point of rallying, I'd get hit and forget where I was. 
With minutes left, I finally got going and drove into a wall. Why have you got a video? Um, well, I like to document with video and, and, and still, still camera. Ooh. I'd expected snippy, I got stinky. As, as mutilations go, or mutes, as you call them, how, how does this rate? Is this an extreme one, or average one, or, not, you know, kind of light one? Um, I'd say it's average for this part of the San Luis Valley. Should we take the uh, top hauling off? Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing off. Is that normal? Yeah. What? Oh, is that normal? It's... <coughs> it's yes. <coughs> it's wrecked to this bubbling. <laughs> I know, it's tough, Louie. <laughs> you can handle it. Lyme disease is a big problem around here. I thought I knew all about it. I taught my kids to check for ticks. But last spring, I picked up Lyme disease. I couldn't prevent it then, but now you could. Introducing Limerix. Now that there's Limerix, I'm making sure my family gets treated. That'll make me feel better. That was actually quite good. Seriously? Yeah, you're good. I think you have a good shot at a commercial career. Now, Louis, mm. I'm just going to go right for it. I'm going to shape out your face, OK? OK. Close your eyes. Uh, is it going to revolutionize anything? In terms of women with makeup, absolutely. Yeah. I love being fussed over. This is my favorite thing. I feel like a beautiful woman. <laughs> Come here. What are you doing? Just have a seat. No! <laughs> Wynne wanted to show me the inventions that would help him pass Bill Gates beginning with the bye-bye belly. This is the mother of all exercises right here. Now touch your right hand to your left foot. Oh. And now your left hand to your right foot. So with this exercise, you get your upper abs as you go up, your lower abs as you go down, you're massaging your intestines, which helps you be a regular person, and you're stretching. Oh, what do you mean regular? Well, you know, it helps constipation. <laughs> You're compressing the feces in your intestine. Seriously? Yeah. You combine that with uh, certain nutritional things in water and shoom. Do you really want shoom? No. That might be too see, quick. No, no, not that. But see, this is <laughs> compressing your intestines. It's yeah. squeezing the stuff out of it. Like a toothpaste tube. That's right. A little more. This uh, is dangerous. Whoa. No, I agree. That's why I'm not selling it here. But I may sell it in Asia. <laughs> Up uh, and down. Up. Yep. Uh, oh, again. Come on, do your exercises. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's quite, That's a hard exercise. Yeah, that's why I'm not going to use that machine here. But it's great for me. I love it. I, I mean, I feel a I, bit dizzy. Louis Castle. Hi, I'm Louis. Do, 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 I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends, with a little help from my friends. Friends. Great, thanks, Louis. Thank you. Louis Theroux, it's great to have it's you with us. It's good to be here, now, Sue. Now, you're from the British Broadcasting Corporation 2. Yeah, from BBC London. 2. And you're also here to try out as, you're, as a host today. You're, yeah, well, you're as a host and a, and a salesperson for this, the shredder. I showed Louis a lot of different things, and I said, okay, you pick out something that That's you like true. in the show. That's true. And he picked this out. This was the, the item that you were most impressed That's with. That's right. It shreds five pieces of paper at once. 
How good is that? That's great. So you're not going to stand there forever. You might be asking, well, why do you even need a shredder? Mm -hmm. Would you be asking why you, that? Louie, why do you need a shredder? Well, good question. Thanks for asking. Start, Start shredding. Is, is well, here. Where are we? Look. You shred, and I'm going to try to cut. Let's say you want to get rid of some you yeah. know, personal information. Well, here's a credit card it's statement. Nothing sort of super secret or, or incriminating. Just mm -hmm. something like, you know, your credit card statement. And you don't want other people to get their hands on that Start information. Start shredding. So you think, well, I better destroy it. Well, why don't I start cutting it up in a, with a pair of scissors like you're doing, Sue? Or what you could do is use a shredder. I'm Shred while you talk. In it goes. Boom. In it goes. And look, I'm going to show you something. What's happening? It's coming out the other way. Look How at that. about that? And look, it's made a crazy little, a little fringe. A little hula skirt. How about that? What about recycling? You're going mean, to send what me are a you present gonna... from England when you get back there? Yeah, I certainly Something will. fragile? Well, you know what? If you were sending items like crockery or videotape, yes. you could just pack it in this stuff. Sure. Like, I'm, I'm having very so much fun area. doing this. I'm just going to keep doing it. Over and over and recycle. You get the How waste paper basket. How And happy, happy, has wonderful, feeling great. Don't move. Hold everything right there, please. Nice guy. Right there. Just what you gave me right there. Hold it right there, please. There, there it is, please. <laughs> Feeling good. Very nice. Keep that same energy, please. I feel a bit vanilla. I'm, I'm used to sort of projecting something a little bit more coming at you. Guess you know what, what I mean? we're going to do your indie film. There you go, Alec Baldwin. Mm, yes, lovely. Kind of brooding, sexy. Yes, that's what I want. Kind of dangerous. Yeah. I love this shot. Wow, what a shot. Lovely, fantastic. Feeling great. Loving and laughing. Wonderful. Just a teeny bit more tilt this way, please. Come back with me. Good. You're out, the ball game, feeling great. Loving it. Stay right there, please. <laughs> you have six months to live. Looks like a good shot. I can't believe how sexy this is. Oh. Oh, again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Now we swing a lot harder than that. But yeah. you can kind of get a feel. That hurts. Yeah. Okay. I can take lots of little ones. Go. Waldo's the name. London, England's the place of origin. A new face on the block. I'm going to wrestle Pistol Pez Watley, the one and only, the legendary. Am I excited? Am I honored? You better believe it. Is he going down? I hope so. He's good, but he's been in the business a long time, and it's time for a new face to take over. Is it me? I hope so. I'm going to throw every, every, move I, every move I know. I'm, I've been practicing. I've been trying really hard. And I'm going to get in the ring. His, his time is over. Maybe now it's time for a new face on the block. Me, Waldo, the one and only at the Georgia Dome this Saturday. Tune in. Pistol Pez Watley, the legend, with the utmost respect. I'm afraid to tell you that I think you are going down. <laughs> good. So he's good with words already. One thing I still don't totally understand is um, to what extent they know what's going to happen in the ring when they come out into the ring. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't. Well, in other words, I understand like that there's an enormous amount of athletic and acrobatic ability and tremendous strength and, and, and that type of thing. But as far as what goes on in the ring itself, yeah. It, to what? How, how does that? How does that work? I don't have any idea. Listen, guys, I am real busy. Oh, okay. Look. Yeah, uh, should we catch you? Gotta get with Alan Sharp or somebody. Yeah. I've got to take care of my duty. Okay, then. See you later. Sarge seemed slightly miffed at my question, but I was sure we could sort it out during my tryout at the power plant. So far, so good. Time to join the workout. By now, I knew how sensitive wrestlers are about being taken seriously. So as a token of respect, I decided to push myself as far as I could. Where's Waldo? Waldo! Everybody down! Give him some room! He said he looked good too. Get your ass out here in the thing. What? In the middle. Get your ass in the middle. Man in the middle. Hey! Down! Get up! Down! Out! On your back! Good back! I said back. Oh, sorry. You invented the Nine. Down. Eight. Eight. Down. Nine. Nine. Down. Ten. Ten. You only about 400 oh. squats behind. Get up. 49. Eight. 50. Down. He back. said, I was here yesterday no doing this. I was here today to doing it, and I will be here tomorrow. Get up there. It's killing my back. I don't care. 
I'd been trying my best, I just couldn't keep up. But dropping out wasn't an option. Shut up! Everybody back! It seems Sarge was still fuming over my questions at the Monday Nitro event. Move your legs! And say, sir, I'm a dying cockroach, sir! Sir, I'm a dying cockroach! <laughs> guys go through it every damn day and you got the nerve to ask me that bullshit down at Nitro. What the hell? You don't think we're not athletes? Hell yeah, we're the best athletes in the world. We do this 365 days a f***ing year. Finish them out. I don't care if you're a dying cockroach. You see that foot? It's gonna squash you. 17, 18, 19, 20, Why? Because I haven't got the will to win. Get your ass up. In the ring! Come on! 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 You're not sitting watching nothing. No way. So get your ass in the no, ring. Seriously. Get in the ring. Something easy. Gonna do. You're going to get your ass back in the ring. Everybody stand up. Shut up. You see how ridiculous some questions you ask yes. me down there yes, are? Yes, I do. Yes. Did you see you? I, I am the Sarge, huh? Yes. Speak up. Say, yes. sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Do you have any questions about our business? Now that you want to know, look at these guys. They started at 10 o'clock. Now you see why this is the toughest sport in the world. Bar none. They got to put up with my short, irritable ass every day. Three lines. Three lines. Three lines. You're gonna, you gonna lead them out. Give up. No, you're not gonna give up. You're not give gonna up. give up. I can't do it anymore. Giving up is not an option around here. Show some heart. Get out. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna throw up. Come on. Do it. I don't care. I can't. I got a fucking right here. Shut your eyes in that bucket. Turn around, face down. Get to the one. You look at that one. Don't bring your head down. Okay. I've been holding it up. I've been holding it up. Got the rope, buddy. I've been holding it. You can make it through. Taking you to places you never thought you could go. That's the key, all right? Just do it. You'll get all right. Nothing's going to happen to you. You'll be all right. Hey, pull it out of that corner. Let's go out of the corner. Let's go. Come on. Come on, guys. Push yourself. Push yourself. Be somebody. Yeah, baby. Come on, guys. Let's go. Hey. Hey. He's on a puke. He's like a What up? What up? What up? Come on. Come on and watch it. He can't do it. How about that? Yeah. That ain't nothing. You ain't done nothing. Blow chops! Blow! Let's go. I wasn't sure what I'd experienced. I was just glad it was over. Oh, no.